I'm Dwayne Ross of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Sunday, September 17th, the 16th Sunday after Pentecost, our scripture is found in the Gospel of St. Matthew, verses, uh, chapter 18, verses 21 through 35. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, if another member of the church sins against me, how often should I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus said to him, Not seven times, but I tell you, seventy-seven times. For this reason the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. When he began the reckoning, one who owed him 10,000 talents was brought to him. And as he could not pay, his Lord ordered him to be sold, together with his wife and children and all his possessions, and payment to be made. So the slave fell on his knees before him, saying, have patience with me, and I will pay you everything. And out of pity for him, the Lord of that slave released him and forgave him the debt. But that same slave, as he went out, came upon one of his fellow slaves who owed him a hundred denarii. And seasoning, seizing him by the throat, he said, Pay what you owe. Then his fellow slave fell down and pleaded with him, Have patience with me, and I will pay you. But he refused. Then he went and threw him into the prison until he would pay the debt. When his fellow slaves saw what had happened, they were greatly distressed. And they went and reported to their Lord all that had taken place. Then his Lord summoned him and said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you pleaded with me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow slave as I had mercy on you? And in anger his Lord handed him over to be tortured until he would pay his entire debt. So my heavenly Father will also do to every one of you if you do not forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Peter asked Jesus, Lord, how often should I forgive? It is hard to forgive, especially when someone hurts me, but does not recognize what they have done. Focusing on the hurt, though, only causes ongoing resentment, affecting my happiness. So how can I forgive when others feel they do not need to? We are not called to forgive only if others respond to us the way we want. We are called to forgive because of who we are, children of a forgiving God. As difficult as it may be, forgiveness, is actually, forgiveness actually changes us. It cleanses our spirits, reconnecting us to joy. Forgiveness does not discount the hurt the other person caused. Rather, it means we are choosing not to give that hurt power over our lives anymore. What's more, if it's not healthy to do so, we do not have to allow others back into our lives in order to forgive them. We can fully forgive the person, release them to God, and then move on with our lives. Whatever we choose, it should be rooted in God's forgiveness for us. Anything less will never bring healing to anyone. Our prayer, God of grace, your love makes us who we are. Help us remember this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.